Hi, I'm the Indiana James, and welcome to Stonehenge. Wait one second. Let me try that again and show you what it really was like before dawn. And it be peace in the goal! Hi, I'm the Indiana James, and welcome to Stonehenge. Thousands of people from all across the world traveled here to watch the dawn of a new era. People slept in vans and RVs, some of them up all night waiting for this event. The drummers started in around 5 a.m., setting the mood for a once-in-a-lifetime event. During other times of the year, without a private tour, you cannot even get close to the stones, let alone touch them. Why is December 21st so important? Well, this marks the longest night and shortest day in the Northern Hemisphere. From here on out, we start gaining daylight hours. This marked a magical event to the Ancient Ones that the Sun, their source of life, was on its way back to them. Stonehenge started being constructed around 5,000 years ago, and over the centuries, the natives float larger stones down the river over 20 miles away to make the circle. Years later, the Blue Stones, also known as bell stones were cut from the mountain sides of Wales and floated down the river roughly 200 miles away. There's two types of stones that makes up Stonehenge. The inner circle stones, which are your blue stones, and then your outer circle stones, which are the larger stones. However, Stonehenge didn't start off as stone. They were actually wooden pillars that circled the entire area, which was a huge sundial. And hinge actually means ditch. There's a ditch that runs around the entire section as well. Why go to so much trouble to float the bell stones down? It is now known that the ancient ones placed these stones on wooden platforms inside the circular formation of the larger stones, and when drums were beaten, and music was played, the sounds would cause the blue stones to vibrate, signaling a bell-like sound. This sacred structure was used in ceremonies, and the music that was played vibrated off the stones, causing the people in the center of the circle to go into a hypnotic state of mind. Nowadays, people venture here for the historic and religious significance that this structure has maintained for over thousands of years. You will even find your new age hippies traveling here soaking in the Earth's energy. However, for me, this site represents the success of mankind's survival throughout the ages and his curiosity and search for meaning and purpose of life beyond himself. Ask yourself, where did you witness the winter solstice of 2012? What is Stonehenge? It is a site like no other.